If you're looking to get rid of the Ecobee's worst and actually only problem that I found with it, the uh, constant hold thing, uh, you come to the right place. Uh, let's take a look on how to uh, get this thing resolved. One of two ways, uh, one of the first steps that you're going to need to do is either head up to the thermostat or log into your Ecobee. Once you get there, then uh, click on the three little lines at the bottom left. Head over to settings and then click on preferences. And what you're looking for now is hold action. You click on that, you want the uh, middle option there, which is until the next scheduled activity. So that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way that you can do this is head on to the web app and log into your Ecobee account. And once you're in there, you can click on settings again here and preferences and hold action and then the same thing here until the next scheduled activity. So that's step one. That's just, this isn't going to fix all of them. Uh, now holds that are created on this thing that are permanent, they are created from apps like IFTT, if this then that, or if you're using any kind of a third party uh, software to do that. For me, I'm using a Samsung SmartThings to do some fancy stuff and that causes a permanent hold. So to resolve that, you're gonna need a program called WebCore. Now it sounds a little intimidating and when you initially look at this thing, it may seem a little overwhelming. It's not too bad. The installation, I'll throw a link up here, that's gonna be the longest part of this whole deal. Once you have WebCore installed, it's very intuitive. Yes, it is code, but the program actually helps you design or write the code. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at the uh, web interface for it. All right, in the screen here, you can see the uh, fan circulate. This is one of the things that I run to take and eliminate holes for myself. This definitely looks like code and most people will be overwhelmed by this. But if we go in and edit, you'll see it's not as bad. Click on this for example if you want to make a new if this then or that statement and most of the stuff is in here for you and all you have to do is just change whatever you want. So in this case the physical device bedroom temperature is outside of the range and the expression here. This is the only piece I had to type in. The rest of it is all there for you and once you start typing these variables it'll actually coach you along as well. This eliminates typos and it makes it very fast to set up whatever you want. I'll leave a link to this WebCore piston if you're having trouble with the uh, Ecobee holds. And basically what this thing does is, um, it's actually a two-fold thing for myself, for my house. The uh, theater room, which is in the basement of the house. And the bedroom, which is in the upstairs of the house. The, if there's any fluctuation it's in temperatures in my house, it's between these two rooms. The bedroom has two very large windows. I think they're three by five or three by six. And if it's sunny outside, uh, this, this upstairs can really warm up. And the downstairs, Still has the big windows, but doesn't get as warm. So what I use this for, this chunk here, is it'll run the furnace fan to kind of move that air around the house. So my basement warms up and my upstairs cools down. And the end product of this is that my sensors are all kind of within the range that I want. Now what gets rid of the actual holes? If you're having hole problems, the only piece of code you need right here is this one here. Resume program. You send this to your thermostat, it'll go right back, it'll clear any holes. This is the only program that I found with SmartThings, If This Then That, or any of the other programs out there 
that actually will remove the Eagle Bee hold without you physically going to have to touch the device in some way. You can build that in however you want. You could just simply say the, uh, every 60 minutes resume program and that could be the end of your, your web core piston. That would fix the problem. After that's done, you've got nothing else to do. Your uh, Ecobee will run reliably. I have been running this piston now for, well you can see it here, created on uh, November the 18th. I modified the, the last time on December the 17th and this was the last modification that I did to this thing. And since then it has been running flawlessly. It's doing everything that I want it to do. And the best part about all of this is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Hopefully you found this video useful and it fixed the uh, Ecobee whole problem for you. If it did, thumbs it up.